In this video we are going to find the answers to the following questions. 1. What are the fundamental quantities, basic quantities? 2. What are the derived quantities? Before answering to the questions it should be emphasized that, classical physics contains five parts. 1. Mechanics. 2. Electromagnetics. 3. Thermodynamics. 4. Optics. 5. Acoustics. Each part has its own quantities. Mechanics as an important part of physics has its own quantities, such as time, mass, length, velocity, acceleration, momentum, force, impulse, work, energy, and so on. All the quantities used in mechanics can be classified into two groups, one, fundamental quantities or basic quantities, two, derived quantities. Now we can return to the first question. What are the fundamental quantities or basic quantities? Fundamental quantities or basic quantities are the quantities that a. They cannot be expressed in terms of any other physical quantity or any other more fundamental quantity. b. All other quantities in mechanics can be expressed in terms of these fundamental quantities or basic quantities. In mechanics the quantities length, L, mass, M, and time, T, are chosen as fundamental quantities. By providing this answer for the first question we can return to the second question. What are the derived quantities? The derived quantities are the quantities that can be expressed in terms of these fundamental quantities or these three basic quantities. So all the other quantities used in mechanics can be expressed in terms of these three fundamental quantities. This graphics shows how derived quantities are expressed by fundamental quantities. Length, divided to time, equals velocity. Mass, times velocity equals momentum. Mass, times acceleration equals force. 